Beat baseball is uh, an adapted sport. Uh, it's basically softball for the blind. We swing the bat. Uh, we take the outs, we run to base, just like a regular baseball team. Since it is an adapted game, there are some differences in beat baseball than regular baseball, of course. Uh, everybody has to wear a blindfold. All defenders and offenders are completely blind. They, we all wear blindfolds. We play like a coach pitch. Your pitcher is on your team trying to get you to hit the ball. Basically, the pitcher, catcher, they're uh, on the same team as the batter. They're going to uh, work with a rhythm, a cadence to get a hit. It is done by a cadence, ready, set, ball, and a swing. What the pitcher wants to do is make sure that the batter hits the ball. Hitting the ball is all about timing. You have to be uh, in sync with the, with the pitcher and always swing at the same time and on the same place so that he can always throw it at the same speed at the same place and make contact. If the timing is off, uh, it's going to be a strikeout or a miss. Uh, the pitcher gets to know each of his player's swings so he can uh, uh, make sure that they connect really well and put the ball out there so it's uh, un you know, hard to field. The best way to be a successful hitting team is uh, repetition. Uh, over and over, try to do the same thing every time. It requires, requires a lot of patience, a lot of dedication, a lot of personal time, and um, a little baseball knowledge. Our field is used to be marked at 180 feet. That was the longest uh, footage on it. Now it's down to 170, I believe. Each team has six six players on the lineup, either batting lineup or uh, fielding a defense. You have six um, defenders out in the field to try to locate the ball as the ball is being hit from the batter. We only have two bases, which are 100 feet from home plate. Once the batter hits the ball, the defense has the time the time to pick up the ball before the batter gets to the base. Um, if the defense does get control of the ball before they get to the base, it's an out. So either either it's a run or an out uh, every at bat. There's no base runners. I am responsible for being able to watch the runner and see if the fielder fields the ball before uh, the runner gets to the base, which will be an out. When I'm in the defense, I try to stay low. So because if it, if it's a grounder. The ball is on the ground, so you want your ears closer to the ball. The, the goal is to position your body in the path of the ball and lay down kind of in a banana form. So when the ball hits, it kind of funnels the ball towards your body. Um, so it, it doesn't bounce away from you. Um, there are six innings to a game, three outs, and you get four strikes and one ball. We don't get to walk in this game. There's four strikes instead of three and you can actually do one pass ball so a full count would be three to one. Um, we have a pitcher, a, a catcher, and two spotters who are more sighted. Telling us where where the ball is coming. And they can give the defense uh, a clue in their zone which zone the ball is pretty much going to travel in. I spot left field as far as the field setup goes. My husband is the other spotter, he spots the right field, and in his position he sets the front person, that's the position one, and then behind that person is two, and then behind that person in the back of right field is three, and then on my side of the field, the front person is position number four, that's their title number, and then uh, behind that is five, and in the back of right uh, left field is uh, position six. When we hit the ball with the bat, we, um, we have first or third that goes off, the base buzz. Once the ball's hit, uh, one of either first or third will start buzzing uh, differently from the beeping of the ball. And you have to run to, to whichever base uh, is on and you need to get there before the defense is able to control the ball. If the uh, fielder gets the ball before he gets to the base, then he's out. And if the runner gets to the base before you pick the ball up, he's made a run. And you score or you get out, and that's it. There's no running from base to base, so that's uh, a key difference. Home runs, they come very few. I believe there have only been about two or three home runs hit in the National uh, B-Ball Association World Series tournaments. If a batter hits the ball through the air, landing past 170 feet is automatic two-run home run. It's a really fun, competitive, um, contact sports. Um, growing up, I, you know, ran track and I did wrestling, and it's really good to, you know, it's, it's awesome that there's this sport out here that I can participate in and continue my athletic career. 
it is a blind person's way of getting out there, having fun, playing ball, um, and, and, and just having a really good time doing something that does not require sight, uh, which is to me probably the best thing, because it doesn't matter whether I have a little bit of sight or, or no sight at all, it doesn't matter. I can still play the game, so can anybody else. As long as they're visually impaired, they can get out and try